going on? So we have just arrived to Greenville, South Carolina, and this is our Airbnb. It is super big, it's so cute in here. And check out my nice cornrows. Hi Val. Check out my nice cornrows. My friend Ashley. Love her. My friend Ashley from Fit Life, my job, uh, back in St. Pete. She hooked a girl up. Oh, oh, oh. I'll put her Instagram right here, so follow her. Yeah, Ashley. Mm, mm, mm. Follow her. Yeah. Anyways, so we are here. We just got all checked into our Airbnb, and we are going to go to the gym and go get a quick workout in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then probably come back home and, or home and relax and eat and chill because Saturday, in two days from now, we are running the beast. So it looks like it's gonna be like 13 and a half miles. There's shirtless Zach. Hey, shirtless Zach. So we, yeah, beast time is on Saturday. Today is Thursday. I need to show you guys this pool area real quick. Place is so nice. So we're the only people that are gonna be here, Val, me, and Zach, until tomorrow night, Friday night. Then Curtis, Harold, Andrea, Erica, and a couple other people. We're gonna like have a whole party in this house. This house is huge. So this is like the cute little outside area. Cute little pool, cute little swing set. I love this house. I feel like I'm gonna do a whole video just on this house. Ah! So we are going to go to the gym. I think I'm gonna do some upper body. Just keep it light because we're gonna go be Spartan Beasts in two days. See you there. Hello there. Welcome <coughs> back to the latest edition of Jess <coughs> and Zach cooking stuff in the kitchen. Stuff and Episode five. Here we are. This lighting, though, I just want to make my own show. All right, here's what's up. We are going to make some Spartan tank top T-shirts. Right, Val? Yes. Yeah. So stay tuned. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Tell me a joke. I don't know why I'm so hyper. All I have is a towel. <laughs> So we made some awesome Spartan tank tops. I cannot wait to wear those this weekend and in like another couple weekends when we do the beast again and the sprint again uh, back home in Florida, December 9th and 10th. So yeah, we are gonna go to sleep and tomorrow is Friday and that means we are only one day away from the beast. But we get our trifectas though, so see you guys in the morning. All right, what's going on guys? Today is Friday and we just got to the venue. This morning I went to the gym, did some fasted cardio for like 30 minutes. I ate a lot of pumpkin bread last night so I had some little bit of extra calories to burn. But <laughs> we are here at the venue. We are going to do our volunteer check-in, learn some cool training stuff on how to basically do course marshalling, which is judging for all the elites whenever they come through on Sunday for the sprint. So we are here, gonna go get our training on, and then I'll show you guys the course afterwards. All right, we just got back from volunteer training. We are here at our temporary home. We are going to cook dinner, and we're gonna cook a quiche. Maybe I'll show you my, my quiche recipe, which we actually got from, from another Airbnb. Don't make fun of me if you don't want to be on camera. So we are going to make this quiche and it's going to be really good. So 
all of our friends have arrived safe and sound. Everyone is fed, hydrated. We are going to go to sleep. We will see you in the morning. And then it is time for the beast. We're going to be a part of the trifectas in the morning. Good morning! Ah, today is Friday, November 4th. And <laughs> and we are here at the venue to run the beast. And I'm scared and I don't want to. Ah. So, yeah, it is like 7.19 in the morning and we run at 8, so... We are right on time. We have Val to go pick festival. up Val's at festival. Merch. She's volunteering. We're volunteering tomorrow. So, see you afterwards, I guess. Here we are. Approaching Beast Mile 9. Oh yeah. Typically, that's where a super would stop. But today's the beast, so we're gonna keep on going until we reach like 13. Well, um, we're vlogging here. This is her first Spartan ever. Ooh. And she's doing a beast. Now that's pretty beastly, if you ask me. If you're gonna do one, why not start with the hardest? Right? <laughs> Alright, we're running. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it. We did it. We did it. We are going to shower and then go change and eat some food. I am disgusted. And get a beer. Maybe. <laughs> We're here at the Team Southern Spartan tent. Got all three. We did it. I just really feel a need to take this second and tell everybody in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube land how freaking tired I am. I could just freaking fall asleep right now. Look at my eyes. They're so puffy. Look at them. I'm not looking at him, Zach. <laughs> Look at his freaking hat. Zach's one eye is tiny. It's a nice Zach liking this freaking hat. I'm so tired. I can't, I can't even keep my eyes open. All right, we just got vo done volunteering and Curtis has not been on the video this whole time. So Curtis, hey. say hello. Hi. Hi. He's been here too the whole weekend, but we just haven't been in the same vicinity with my camera for everyone to say hi. But Curtis is here. Sore as hell. Yeah, we're super sore. But yeah. All right, bye. All right, we are headed back home. Oh, we so are tired. tired. Hopefully we make it back before like midnight time. I'm up on some shit right now. I hope so. All right. This is the end of South Carolina. That's where we are, right? Yeah. South Carolina, Spartan Race, Beast. Next up is Savage Race next weekend. November 11th, we are in a pothole. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, there's fire. We, just, we are gonna be at Savage Race next weekend, and then after that we have another beast and another sprint, December 9th and 10th. So yes, see you peeps later.